This Kind of Funny Let's Play is brought to you by PSI Love You XOXO, our new PlayStation podcast. Come listen to Colin and I talk about PlayStation games each and every Tuesday at 9 a.m. on youtube.com slash kindoffunnygames and podcast services around the globe. Greetings and salutations. Welcome to Kind of Funny Games. My name is Colin Moriarty. This is uh, my life mate, Greg Miller. Oh. Greg, today we're going to play Uncharted Drake's Fortune exactly. from the Uncharted... The Nathan Drake Collection. Oh, I've heard of this collection. Uh, which is on PlayStation 4, exclusively on PlayStation 4. Not only does it come with the Uncharted 4 beta mm -hmm. pass, but it comes with the three original PS3 Uncharted games. Sure. And we're doing this in celebration not only of uh, the Nathan Drake Collection, but also to celebrate our brand new PlayStation podcast, P.S. I love you, XOXO. Starting this week. Starting this week. YouTube.com slash kind of funny games. Subscribe so you don't miss it. And then, of course, every podcast service as well. Indeed. Tuesdays, Indeed. 9 a.m. Pacific. Video. There's no window in, no nothing. It's mm. all just there for your amusement. Yeah. No people are being wondering, how, well, how can I get it on Patreon? And we're like, well, you can't. No, it's it's just going to be there. We do a lot it. of stuff on Patreon. I mean, you, 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 you know, sports on Patreon. We love that. But, uh, yeah. So you can watch it on YouTube. You can also download it as audio. It's there for you. We want to do it. Spiritual successor to what we used to do. It's going to be a lot of fun. Today we're going to play Uncharted Drake's Fortune. Play, I mean, we're just showing the game you play on normal. I'm playing well, my, on crushing right my now. My thought process is if mm. I'm starting this and I want to platinum it one day, do I just... I know. I'll just do it normal. We'll yeah. get back into it here. Do I mean, you're not way. used to it. I, I I haven't died yet when my crushing playthrough, but yeah, I've Because you're a not, real man. Exactly. I'm a real man. I mean, that's a given. But also because, uh, you know, it, it's worth noting that uh, the game hasn't really ramped up yet. There's, this is the hardest of the three Uncharted games, by a mile. Oh, yeah, sure. Um, Naughty Dog didn't have the balance just mm. yet. And now that's what I want to talk about with mm. this, and every one of these Let's Plays we'll do this mm. week as we sell it. I mean, what a great timing. The, the Uncharted Collection embargo lifts the week we do PSA Love yep, You. It's, it's as if we planned this, but I assure you, ladies and gentlemen, we don't plan anything no, here. absolutely not. Uh, well, what year did Uncharted Drake's Fortune come out? 2007. Were you, what, run me through this. This I I was already at IGN, obviously. Mm -hmm. I was I remember this was the first big one. So, mm -hmm. like, were you, I remember being on a bus with Roper and Jeff Haynes going to Sony's pre E3 thing. Mm. And this is one of the ones people are like, oh, I can't wait to see what the, guy, the, the guys who did Jack are going to do next. And we rolled in, and I remember picking up the controller and playing it and being like, what the hell is this? You know what I mean? Like, it was like so different. It wasn't Jack and Daxter, right? It wasn't that. It was like this very amazing, uncanny valley. It looks so good. It looks so good. It's funny now that we're going to get into it here. You're going to see how it looks and be like, oh, well. I still think, I mean, this is the thing. Is, and that, this is why I'm curious about putting in the original in my PS3 and seeing. Yeah. I feel like it looks better than I remembered it looking. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In my head, like, I don't know. Blue Point Games yeah. did the ports. The Blue Point does a lot of ports. They've done right. a shit ton of ports. They're very familiar with uh, Sony. Yeah. Uh, and Sony's first party games. But I feel, I mean, this doesn't look as good as 2 or 3, and certainly not as good as 4, but it looks sure. better than I remember. It's running in 1080, 60 for, frames a second. For me, the funny thing about it is the way they have it set up. Like, when Elaine is walking around the camera right there and stuff, that, you can, this looks even, this still looks like the mocap set they always show, right? Where it's so bare bones. Like, as Uncharted ramps up, and we'll see it as we do Let's Plays for 2 and 3 as well, you'll just see how more de how much more details put into these environments to make them more fleshed out. Yeah, Nate looks great. His eyes are a bit weird, right? And his, his, like their face and their bodies all are all, all like more simple, right? But I mean, you just look at how dead everything is around them here as they work and do this. Like, just the crates and stuff. You can imagine, you know, Emily Rose and Nolan North in the ping pong ball suits with all the stuff around them trying to figure out. Absolutely. The, you'll you'll see later when it pans out in about five minutes or so after you. Spoiler alert, fight the pirates. Uh, the ocean looks really... Like, you could tell they just used the same like texture yeah, yeah, yeah. over and over again. But okay, okay. it's And that's why people were so intrigued by Among Thieves, which is Uncharted 2, which we'll play. If you're watching this the day this came out, we'll play that tomorrow. Uh, basically, like that's such a huge jump. The jump from 2 to 3 was not as significant. The jump from 1 to 2 was significant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and that's why we always talk about the fact when we talk about 2 versus 3, right? How you and I think 3 is the better game, but everybody else thinks it's 2. And we always talk to people, if you were to switch them around, and three came out before two. Everyone would say three is better than two. Yeah, absolutely. It's not only us saying that. that like when I did the history of Naughty Dog when we were still at IGN, that's what they said. A yeah. lot of them said the same thing. That they swear, you know, and they really feel that if three came out before two, people yeah. would feel the same exact way about that game. I think three was extraordinary. Also, um, real quick, I'm they're sorry, all great. Before we lose it, sight of it, Otzel in their suits. Obviously, an Easter egg back to Jack and Dexter. Because you know, Dexter was an Otzel. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Remember that. Now, if we became Jack and Daxter, mm -hmm. would you be the Otzler or am I the Otzler? Um, you're probably the Otzler. Yeah. Even though I'm, I guess, more your sidekick, I guess, in, in reality. I like this little thing. So you see this? I've been playing it already, so it says Moriarty-IGN. I've killed 10 people with explosion. explosion. Oh, I didn't There's see that, actually. There's all these actually. little things that pop up, like these meta games that are available. Oh, see, down ah, here. Get out of the way, Elaine! God, I'm going to fall in love with you one day, but I can't deal with it now. Now, it's also interesting that... Uh, 
R1 uh, is not shoot anymore. No, it's you can change it. I changed it back because I'm used to playing on char with That's R1 funny. and L1, That's which is funny. again another example of PS3 Stockholm syndrome. <laughs> what do you mean? It totally makes sense to shoot guns without the trigger. Now it's weird that camera feels so weird right now. Did, did, did you find that? Um, the camera just doesn't feel like where it should be for a shooter, let alone Uncharted. Yeah, I mean it's it's a little it's a little antiquated, I think. You know, th oh, there's yeah. only so many things that you could truly fix. I don't know if people are gonna oh, have what? a huge problem with it. Oh, I don't think it'll be a huge problem. I yeah. just think it's interesting. Yeah, like, get used to it. This is going. We always talk about going. Uh, you know, the big thing lately has been Metal Gear, right? Mm -hmm. Going back in time and playing uh, Metal Gear One, right, and how that actually feels and how that plays. Now to jump back in Uncharted, which is a game. I have not played, I platinumed it, you know what I mean? Mm. When they put trophies on it, which was, you know, years after it came out or whatever. Or right, yeah, a year. And then it was just like, never again. Here comes your brutal combo. Oh, and that was the thing I was thinking too was. Turn around, Nate, he's there! Was, uh, I haven't played it that since then either. I, I think they, I think they, I could have sworn they put trophies in a guy. <laughs> it's interesting. That happened, the guy man. Had, that guy had no, uh, no spine. That's how, I mean, that's just how hard Nate punches. He punches you so hard, he liquefies your spine. Yeah, you're right though about like the distance, like the, the, the draw distance is great, but there's just nothing around. Like, it's definitely not as detailed. But I mean, for the time that this came out, this was a beautiful Oh my god, game. and that's what I'm trying, and that's what it's interesting, I'm trying to put into context for people, right? Like, when I played this that first time at that event, it was like, what is this? And then when we finally got our hands on it to play it, this was like, you know, my first giant review. I, I don't count where, even though that turned out to define my career. Right. Uh, this was my first like giant review, oh lord. My first giant review for IGN, right? And playing this in like, it was a different level, right? It was so amazing what it was doing. Sully's gonna come in. It's so cool because we have all this context of these characters now, Elena yeah, yeah, yeah. and Sully. Like we haven't even met Sully yet. Yeah. Uh, we don't know anything about these characters. It's so it's funny going back and kind of trying to remove those things from your mind about like sure. where you were when you like, first played this. Yeah, where, where who Elena is and how that all works out together. Like the propeller it looks all weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That whole thing looks weird, but whatever. <laughs> it's uncharted and it's back. New trophy. More trophy. But what I think is really exciting about this. Yeah, yeah. About playing this game. So this came out uh, fall 2007, so that was uh, like a year after PS3 came out. Yeah. So think about the games we got a year after PS4 came out, and then think about what they did with Uncharted 3 and The Last of Us on the same hardware. Right, right, The right. amount of power they extracted. Right, right, right. I think right. it's going to be extreme, like what we see. I mean, Uncharted 4 already is ridiculous, but it's going to get better than that. Yeah, by the time we get to the end of the life cycle of the PS4, you can only imagine what people are getting out of it. You look back at this, and it'll look like what a PS2 game looked like, right? Look at Sully. What a badass. Nothing the years of therapy won't fix. That's where I fell in love with her. Elena Fisher. Yeah, I like her too. I'd kill each and every one of you just to be married to her in a fictional land of Uncharted. But we don't do the piratey stuff. We, don't, we, don't, we just play games. Oh, okay. So you so so you'd want to be married to so you'd want to be married to Elena in real life. Sure. If she could come out of the game world and live with us here in her journal. So Emily Rose. No, 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 no. Emily Rose is happily married and has kids. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to break up any marriage here. I'm, I know that's the other thing. I don't know Emily Rose well, like I know Elena Fisher. Right, right. I know Emily. Sure. We're friends. We DM once sure, in a while. Sure, sure. I tell her congratulations on the babies and Haven and all that stuff. Mm. But like, I, you know, Elena Fisher, Jericho, I know well. And Jericho, of course. Remember when she came on up at noon? Those are the questions I had for her. Tell me, did you know sign language on Jericho? You're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Are you asking me Jericho yeah. questions? <laughs> yeah, I don't care about Uncharted or Haven. Tell me about this. Look at this. I think I've earned a look at that diary when but like, it's funny, like, like now, and just like, just wa like you're talking about watching this whole thing unfold. Like, we know so much, you know, of Nathan's backstory now, how him and Sully come together, right? And so to have that context to replay this, pretty impressive. It's awesome, and I love this scene. I forgot how much I love this this particular scene. Oh, right. Um, which people will see, and then you really gain control. And then Uncharted really begins. But I swear to God, Bluepoint cleaned this game up. Like, I, I, I had to, yeah. that's how this works, right? Like, I want to go back. I, maybe I'll do that tonight. Just plug in PS3 and just look at what it looked like. It's going to cost me any bar. Get your firmware up there. Yeah, you got to go. Like, I'm many a firmware behind at this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what the, like, what was the last game? I think the last PS3 game I really played was, like, Tales of Exilia 2. So that was, like, yeah, was a year ago. Some JRPG thing. And now with Zysteria coming out, I don't even have to play it. On P I can play it on PS4, so it's, like... I'm almost, I'm pretty close to just putting my PS3 away. Just melt it. Melt it? Yeah. Make bullets out of it? Yeah. Hell goddamn Dorado. There you go, Sully, you son of a bitch. I put a smile on my face when I heard him say that, because that's such a famous line. Yeah. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, no. Last page was torn out. I'm telling you, Sully. You know what this game reminds me of? Greatness from small beginnings. Yeah. Mmm. 
Back, I mean, like, think about, I mean, like, it's so funny now to th think about playing this for the first time and, like, going to see this game for the first time. And I can't wait to see Uncharted. It's this pirate game from the guy City Jack and Daxter. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, like, now Naughty Dog is Naughty Dog. You know what I mean? Anything they touch turns Yeah, I mean, gold. people really do forget that. I mean, Naughty Dog's made big games before sure, sure, Uncharted. Sure, sure. Crash Bandicoot obviously was a substantial game. I mean, Naughty Dog was founded in 1982. So it's like they've made a lot of games. They made right. Genesis games, they made PC games. But people really love the Crash games and they, and they sold very well. And people like Jack and Daxter. I think people love Jack and Daxter a little too much, in my opinion. Uh, Fuck you, Colin. But, uh, I mean, they're fine games. But they're like, great games. But like, this was the Why did they not rise to the heights of Ratchet and Clank? That's the question. Oh, I think Ratchet's better than Jack. That's a bunch of bullshit. Uh, I love you, Ted Price. Don't take it personally, but that's evil bullshit. Evil Ted Price is going to come at you. No. <laughs> evil um, Ted Price, I don't fuck with. <laughs> uh, but this, I agree with you. It was really Uncharted 2, actually, that made Naughty Dog right. Naughty Dog. Well, and like when, people, when people are like, well, go back and make Jack 4, I'm like, that's what you want them to yeah, do? Are you kidding yeah, me? Yeah, yeah, the Anyone the can make right. that Jack 4 game like in the first party. Like, exactly. These guys you know, are making really, truly special, right. realistic games. So. Right, yeah, yeah. But I mean, that's the thing is like, and that's, that, it's just, again, like Naughty Dog's rise to fame, right? Or at least, you know, where they are now. You look at this game, and this was the game that not a lot of people had a PlayStation 3 for, mm -hmm. right? We didn't have the price drop yet. The store still sucked, da 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 you know what I mean? So the people who were, Ground level PlayStation fans like myself were playing this and being like, "This is amazing! You gotta play this! You gotta play this!" And then you know, nobody, not nobody does, but it's not like a system seller, right? Right? It's one great standout IP or whatever, one game, and then you get to, all right, Uncharted 2 is coming out. That's when people go buy the systems. That's when they're in board. You know, I mean, everybody. Yeah, because that was when Slim came out and all that. Because Uncharted 2 was 2009, um, and that was the most remarkable thing too, is that they made Uncharted 2 in a very abbreviated amount of time right. as well. Um, but I remember when we were at IGN and this came out, and, and it was Mark Ryan, my boss at the time, was writing the uh, the guide for it. And I was looking at him like, this just doesn't look like my kind of game. I like didn't really give it a second thought. You know, Sorry, not like, eight bit enough. Yeah, no it's Mega just, Man's. I was just I got my Wii. I'm happy. Yeah, I'm was, Colin Moriarty. I'm like, yeah, it's cool to see Naughty Dog do this. I mean, this is not what I expected them to do, but this is this is cool, and I'm sure it was refreshing for them as well. Do you remember what the first treasure is? Uh, no, I don't. Did you start playing last night looking for treasure? I have the guide up on my phone, but I, I didn't. We should. I, I don't know if we should really worry about that in this playthrough, but yeah, well, you could. I'm just talking about it. I mean, right now I'm just Because that's how I play too. I'm like looking at running in every just corner. Running it's in very, the corners. It's very yeah, yeah. fun to watch me play that way. <laughs> it's just like there was. I, I don't remember the treasures ever being memorable. You know what I mean? Because like, this one is when they were still just white orbs. Mm -hmm. And you'd walk up and you're like, all right, I got a fucking Inca face. Great. Great. Paul Anka loves this Inca face. Yeah, like the, the environment really does look beautiful. I'm telling you, like I don't remember it looking this good. This makes me like even I'm more on, excited. I'm on, I'm on the stage of the E3. Yeah, doing a little pan. Oh, you wouldn't want to pan there. Uh, I love the slow pan. Yeah, it's the best. Like no one plays like this. Sorry, Bruce Straley. You're out of a job next to E3. I'm there, spinning the camera. His pants are wet. Remember that? That was a big deal. Do you remember how big of a deal that was? And his pants will get wet and dry as he moves. It is kind of cool. It is. And no, it's really cool, again, for building the game they're building, right? I just love these characters. Yeah. It's nice to see him back, right? Well, I don't get it. According to this, we're right on top of the mark. Maybe you're not reading that thing right. Let me see it. No, this is the place. Sully doesn't understand technology. There's nothing here, Nate. He doesn't look at it, he's like, right. <laughs> Let me see that thing. He just glances at the screen. He's like, yeah. Sully. Just relax. Let's take a look around. Do you have the platinum in Golden Abyss? No. See, that's... That's a, a really hard platinum. I know, I know. It's not a really hard one. It's a like time it's consumer. Long. I think it's yeah, random. Yeah, yeah. But they're the black market crap. Yeah. That was also stupid. I really like Golden, Ab Golden Abyss. I said, though, when Golden Abyss came out in 2011, in Japan, when we got it, Japan. that it was better than Drake's Fortune, and I'd be interested to see if I still feel that way now that I'll be playing this again. And then we go back and just mess around with Golden Abyss and see, because I think Golden Abyss was really quite a feat on Vita. I still think it's like one of Vita's really finest games when it really comes down to it. Oh, yeah. Which doesn't... Underrated. It yeah. goes back to like what I was talking, talking about with like the uh, WB Montreal Syndrome, right? Oh, this is a Batman game not from the Batman people. Oh, this is an Uncharted game not from the Uncharted right. people. So no matter what, it's not going to be as good. Which sucks, because it was great. Oh, I remember this. I remember that jump. <laughs> I remember that, too. Uh -huh. Hands up. Not you, Kevin. You can put your hands down. There you go. And like any like any epic, like clever epic game that teaches you things, I really think Uncharted does a nice job of teaching you things without saying anything, too. 
in terms of platforming where you need to go, sure, putting you sure. in environments like it's like this is telling you like you're going to be in these situations a lot. Look for the low area. Look for what like look around, pan up. Because especially at this time too, we weren't necessarily playing games quite like this. You know, these existed yeah. obviously on PS2 and hey, Xbox and, and whatnot, but you know, like I said, this was a, an iteration of Tomb Raider, which now Tomb Raider is an iteration of Uncharted. Which is funny, right? Mm -hmm. But everything old is new again. Oh, oh we're going to drop something through that. Don't worry about it, Sully. I'm Nathan Drake. I'm on the case. The shimmies. Which would come yeah, the to animations the are a little weird for sure, but... Oh, well, yeah, but... But... Gen 1, bro. Mm-hmm. I think the best thing Uncharted ever gave us was Dark Sec. Dark, 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 Dark Sec. No. Dark Sec. Dark Void. Dark Void, right, right, right. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah, Dark Sector. Dark or Sector was, was Michael the... Rosenbaum on the Glaive, which is another great game, but I don't think this had much to do with that. Yeah. Little did they know, this man with a half tuck shirt would go on to become the their vision. They're safe here. Oh. Oh, he just jumped everywhere. <laughs> Tell me, like, so... That's on, probably how you speedrun it. On the, oh, thank you. On the front, they had that speedrun thing. What is that exactly? I, I don't know. Okay. I don't know anything about it. <laughs> trophies aren't live yet either as we're playing this, uh, so I don't know the you know the implication of the speedrun if we have to do that for trophies. No, the trophies, there's no way. The trophies are different, apparently. Uh, in the three games. Mm. Huh? Yeah. I don't know if they're totally and completely different, sure. but they are different. I don't imagine there's additional ones, right? Well, they had to remove two of, uh, they had to remove them from two and three for sure because, because of the, the online, online stuff, stuff yeah. which just doesn't exist in these games. Which is no, fine. Check this out. Looks like the Spanish got here before he did. Calm down, so we'll Sully, find that's it. actually probably worth a little bit of money. I know, I right? Really on that. I'm up to my eyeballs in debt. I was really counting on this one. Oh, don't worry, Sully, you'll be fine. Too many big bar tabs in Lima, I guess. <laughs> that and well, just a few bad deals. Got a score yeah, well, I always told you to stay away from the bad guys. And the bad girls. Yeah? Look who's talking. What's that supposed to mean? That reporter? Yeah. I saw the way you were eyeing her. They're in love, guys. They don't know it yet. Please. I snuffed any chance with her the second we ditched her on that dock. <laughs> All's fair in love and war, kid. Uh, Get up, old man. What if you can't tell the difference? Then, my friend, you are in big trouble. The Spaniard sure left a lot of crap behind. Yeah, maybe you can pay, pay up a little bit of your debt. Why do you want to pay off your debt right now? A little patient. Sweet. Yeah, he's like already giving up just because, oh, well, it isn't in the first room we went to. I'm old. I could die at any time. And that's the other thing. You're going to die soon, so what's the point? You're going to die, Sully. He's got a strong Mavis. He's extremely strong. That, he's got a really good fingertip grip. Here. Thanks, Tully. Take the cigar out of your fucking mouth and do a little work. <laughs> if you couldn't see, yeah, we knew pretty quick that wasn't going to work, so maybe you could have gotten to it quicker. Drop it. You never know what's on the other side of these things. Sure. Oh, right, I got to move that thing in here. It's been a long time. You know what I mean? Mm. Bring her down, so. All right, let go. Sure. This ought to hold it. Hurry, Sully. Well, now we're trapped here. We're gonna die, so. Bad news. Now you don't have to worry about that debt. <laughs> this is no longer our fear. <laughs> you know, this looks familiar. I think there's you know something like? in Drake's journal Furnace. about this. Hmm. Gonna need some fire here. Oh, new icon. Do I, t I just tap. Tap, tap, yeah, tap. Yeah, there it is. Looks like this thing is some kind of lamp or brazier. See if you can light it. So, after all you're bitching about the cigar, now it comes in handy, huh? All right, I'm sorry. Yo, bro, so calm down, all right? I'm just looking out for your health. You're kind of like my father and stuff. Yeah. 
It all comes back to you, mm -hmm. like riding a bike with this Uncharted. Very smart. You're very smart. They call me a Nathan Drake You're one of the smart ones. Why did you do that? Because that would be funny when you said, oh, you're one of the smart ones, immediately jumped to your death. <laughs> Nay! No! <laughs> no! <laughs> El goddamn Diablo! No one's asking you to do anything, Sully, so just relax. Yeah, I'll, as always, carry your old ass, Sully. You've been taking advantage of me since I was a little boy! Seems like you're coming down really fast, Nate. Be careful. Barely holding onto that rope at all. Toss me the lighter. You're gonna die. So when did you give in then that this was for you? Um, you know what I mean? You're saying that you weren't, you know, Mark Ryan, you looked at it, it wasn't a game for you. I think it was actually when it was patched that I finally went back. And oh wow, like, when the trophies like, happened. Yeah, I was like, all right, well, I'll go take a look at it. And it got great reviews, you loved it. Yeah. Other people loved it. I just never got around to playing it at that time. And then uh, I went back and played it and I fell in love with it. I mean, I just, and that's when, you know, when we got Uncharted 2 early, you know, in 2009, that's yeah. when I was like really, really into it. And then 3, obviously, for, you know, I still remember when we got 3 and how excited I was. Yeah, we drove. We went, to, we, we went, went to, to Sony to get it. They're like, we might have, and we like ran down there. Harassing everybody. We're kind of the worst. <laughs> yeah, we really are when you look back at it. Like, we we did that all, that wasn't the only time we ever did that. We were like, they're like, oh, we'll get it out to you. And I'm like, no, no, we'll, we'll come, come get we'll you. Come we'll get come it. to you. Don't worry about it. Do you want to go to lunch? No, we don't want to go to lunch. Can you give us the game and leave us alone? Thanks. Yeah, it's like Same thing happened when we got our PS4s. Yep. Yeah, I think it's happened a number of times, yes. That's the thing is like, you know, we're everybody's friend. We lo that's the thing. We have the passion for video games. And so then we're your friends when you're trying to promote them. And then when we know you have them, just fucking give us the game. You know what I mean? Absolutely. I'll murder somebody. I'll hold your kids hostage. The last one was another one where we're just like, man, I can't, I can't. We had it, you know, two, three weeks early. And I was like, this is awesome. The order of these signs has some importance. But what? The order of these signs has some importance. Is that how he sounded? Hmm? Is that how he sounded? In my mind. Yeah. Okay. In my mind's ear. In your mind's ear. The order of these signs has some importance. <sighs> Let's see what you got, puzzle solver. If there's a problem, yo, I'll solve it. Check out the hook while the DJ revolves it. Bum, bum, bing, bum, bum, bum. The ball's on Nate Drake, you know what I mean? Oh. Whoa, oh. whoa, oh. Drakey Poo. Hey, oh. Whoa. Bada bing, bada boo, Drakey. So. It's that, the weird circle y thing first. Yeah. Gotta find that one. That's not it. I don't believe that one's it. That's the face. There it is. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta yeah. jump over there. Boom, 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 bing, boom, 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 bing, bing. Give it a little push. Give it the old whoops the daisy pushy roo. Nay! Hey, I'm fine, Sully, I'm fine. No! <laughs> Every time you like go out of his eyesight, he's like, Whoa, Sully, it's fine, don't worry about it. What's the guy over there? What? <laughs> oh. Whoa, he fell a bit there. I bugged out a little bit. All right, well. You can't press the circle. I'm trying! The man up there? I can't. Go back no, to he the... looks like the... No, it's, no, that's him. Oh, no, it is him. You're right. Okay. You gotta get back up to that man. Who is this giant man? I'm... I'm John Quinones, <laughs> and you're on What Would You Do? John Quinones is, like, one of the biggest anomalies in my life. I love that guy. Everyone seems to know him. Do you think that they film selectively so yes, that, like... a thousand percent. Like, they have to find the one person in every scenario that knows John Quinones, because no one is like, who the fuck are you? Somebody... They must fake it at some point, too. I'm just like, oh! I thought I'd be, but there are so many people who go, oh, this looks like, what would you do? Like, How do you know? Only Colin and I are obsessed with this show. 
Whoa, I, Drake! No, I, I'm pretty sure we're the only ones that actually watch it. <laughs> we remember when, when, like, it was like years ago now, we used to actually like, go out of our way to watch it. Yeah, we'd be DVR that thing. Because you love it. You just want to see what these people would yeah, do. What would they do? These lifeguards are getting fucking bombed, and then they're going out <laughs> and saving people. What would you do? Like, I don't know, John Guignones. What the fuck would you do? Why are you worried about what I'm doing? I just want to watch this show. Why are you asking me questions? <laughs> can I make it back this way? Hard to. You can climb up, bro. Yeah. Good, 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 good. All right, Drake. That was a little bit much, Drake. You could have made that jump. You know what? I'm tired, guys. Lollygagging. Nolan North didn't want to do a long jump no way, so this is what they got to do. <laughs> Where are the goddamn pirates? That's all I want to know. Where are, where are my next 3,000 people I need to murder? Pretty deep. Yeah, looks like there's a ladder cut into the side. Wait here while I check it out. All right, just be careful. Can I just take the jump? Oh, it's water, right? I'm pretty sure I'll be fine. Hey, watch your step down. <laughs> 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 As he lets go, hey, watch your step down there. Drag, no! Just bash against the rocks. It would be, it would be the worst because your shins would break first, you know? I tell you what, man, I can't do this. No? No way. Not my scene, as they say. It would be fun. It'd be scary, though. Yeah, I mean, like, how many people, I just, I feel like you get trapped in these places. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is not realistic. Just like Indiana Jones. Okay, getting somewhere. The thing I always wonder with these, like, complex puzzles in these fake adventures is, like, who the fuck was making, this is really complicated. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's not, everyone's like, oh, I figured out the puzzle. I'm like, that's not the thing that's complicated. Who the fuck made this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This who ancient the hell civilization. Did And Why? You know, like, well, I mean, we find out why, of course. No, but like, you find <laughs> out why in 12 hours in a totally different place. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. <laughs> Some people take care of their secrets. I mean, it can't all be like second grade where you make a little time capsule and bury it in your school's front yard. This has got to be real deal stuff. We only have about four minutes left. For, for people that don't know, uh, we're showing you this early, but Sony has asked that we only show about a half an hour of every game. So we're going to stick to that, obviously. We're telling them to sh shove it up their butts. Shuhei Yoshida, come for me. I don't care. I'm on the other side. How great that'd be, though, if she ran in the house. Turn it off! <laughs> you agreed. I'm sorry, Shu. <laughs> well, there's that ancient, uh, bunch of ancient writing. No one bothered to take a digital picture of it's it. Like the, it's like the warning, right? <laughs> the warning of don't go any further. We understand you just are an adventurer. You'd like to make some gold. Bad things that will come to you and your friends if you do this. Well, that's the thing is that that's the big difference, and people have brought this up in the past, which I think is cl clever and funny, is that Drake's not an archaeologist. He is an adventurer. He does not give a fuck about what he's destroying at all. Like, an archaeologist would never... Like, like Indiana so Jones was different. Like, he did have care. Yeah, uh, yeah, like, yeah, Drake destroyed much more than he found. He just wants to find out about Sir Francis Drake, yo. Oh, shit! Uh, see, that camera stuff. You know what I mean? That was not very impressive. I, I remember, no, but I remember being frustrated with this in the original as well. Because, like, it's all of a sudden the camera, like, freaks out. Don't touch anything. Yeah, you gotta run forward. Yeah. I, I hate, hate running, running forward. at the camera, stupid. Yeah, it is. Thank God they figured that out. No, 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 no! Drake, no! See what I mean? Like, all these, like. So much. It's convenient now because Sully can get across, but of course, all of this ancient uh... history. History is ruined. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who were these people? What did they want? After that, we better be. Just chilling. Casual walk. Very, very casual. Some place no one's been in centuries, but I don't care. Oh, man. The temple must have been built around this. Around what? statue. Remember the statue? Don't touch the statue. Don't deal with the statue. Don't be around the statue. Gold statue. A huge gold That's Sully. statue. He didn't there you go, money. Sully. Yeah, okay. Sully just well, hears gold and he's like, oh, good. He's just as bad as the conquistadors. I think they're people. Of course. El Dorado. The golden man. 
Sully, it wasn't a city of gold. It was this. It was a golden idol. Man, can you imagine what that thing would be worth now? Look over here. Tracks. I wonder whatever country they're in, what the uh, antiquities Spanish department would think about them just going and stealing shit and then selling it. Drake don't care. We're 400 years late for this party. So the trail's cold. Yeah, it looks that way. Son of a bitch. But Unless. Wait. Unless what? We follow the tracks. Drake's always got a fucking answer, man. Drake! Oh! Drake! Oh! <laughs> and the didgeridoo. Huh. Smell a gunfight. They stop here. Really? Yeah, no. Sure don't. Yeah. Spaniards must have made themselves a shirt. It's always that way though when you see like I remember there's a part in Uncharted 3 specifically when you're going to like a train station and yeah, there's yeah, like yeah. all these platforms that are clearly like, barriers and you have to go back through through later. Like what I got up here. Okay. Oh, you got yourself a little treasure. Silver turtle. Kaka! I am the silver turtle. Well, that was you your first your, trophy. Too. You got your you got your trophy. Oh. This might, this is, we're coming up on the end here. Memory centers are going to come up on the end. you hear that? There's something you don't see every day. There it is. The old U-boat. Remember this mm -hmm. one? I wonder what adventures we'll find on that U-boat. How did what? that U-boat get here? It's what like lost. What kind of corpses would be on that U-boat? All right. Who, who would be waiting for us when we come out of the U-boat? U-boat. That's what the Germans called the U-boat, is the U-boat. Uh, all right, so... <laughs> These are his warning shots. <laughs> That's it for us uh, here with our Let's Play of Uncharted Drake's Fortune uh, from the PlayStation 4 exclusive Uncharted, the Nathan Drake Collection. We're playing this, of course, because we want to show you the game. It's exciting and exciting that these are coming to PS4 for people that, to play them again or if you haven't played them for the first time. In anticipation, of course, of Uncharted 4, a deep send. Uh, but we can only show you about a half an hour of the game, so we have to call it quits now. Yep. Uh, keep an eye out for our Uncharted 2 and Uncharted 3 Let's Plays, which will be very similar to this one. We'll play from the beginning for about a half an hour of each of those as well. And remember to watch or listen to our new PlayStation podcast, the spiritual successor to what we used to do. It's called PS I Love You XOXO. You can find it on podcast services and here on YouTube.com slash Kind of Funny Games as of Tuesday, September 29th at 9 a.m. First episode. We're very excited about it. Super excited. Happy to get back to talking PlayStation and telling Shuhei Yoshida, let us change our fucking names. All right. Bye.